Hey there, this is Sage the Intuitive, and I am here to do a you versus them type of reading. We're going to see what is going on um, with you and the person that is on your mind, what you guys are learning about this situation, how each of you feel. Um, on this side will be you, Leo. On this side will be your person, um, but know that they are interchangeable. So um, if something over here doesn't fit where I um, refer to you, it may be, may be that that's the other person's energy. So just take the energies as they resonate because these are um, general readings. So we're going to go ahead and get started with some overall energy between you and the person that is on your mind right now. For the sign of Leo, Leo and the person that's on their mind. Oh, Leo. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Leo and the person that is on their mind. So we're just going to go with that because that seems like what is going to happen. And it's four cards, so we're just going to go with it. Um, your dreams need a practical plan. So whatever you're thinking about right now, whatever you want out of love, um, and there's some planning, um, even in life, not just love, but there's some planning that needs to happen. There are some adjustments that need, that are required with the adjustments are required. So you need to make some type of adjustments towards whatever it is that you potentially are manifesting. And have faith in what those, what your dreams are and what those adjustments that need to be required are. Um, it's also saying it's a time to give rather than take. So learning what it is that you want, um, understanding what it is, having faith in, in what it is. And um, maybe this is a time to be more open and receptive as well. This is a new moon in Virgo. Um, so talking about um, giving and, and um, receiving. So we're going to see what is your energy in regards to this person that you are thinking about. What is Leo's energy? Leo's energy in regards to the person that they are thinking about. And let's get two cards about your person. Some energy, two cards for your person, please. For Leo's person. One more for Leo's person. All right, so for Leo, you have... When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but, but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Um, so this is reminding you, again, maybe this is saying why this is a time to give rather than receive. Thinking about those things that you potentially could leave behind. Um, but making memories, being joyful, being open... Um, having fun because those memories and those things that you share with the loved ones is what's going to be left for you. So maybe this is a call to action for you to have more fun um, in your life right now, um, in your love life as well, not taking things so serious. And then your other card here is forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So learning how to forgive. So maybe you're harping on things of the past. And that is why um, this message is coming out saying to have fun. Stop thinking about everything in the past. Things that may have not gone the way that you have wanted them to go. And to, um, to be more open, be more free. And um, have faith that things are going to work out with the have faith in your dreams. You need a plan. Have faith in your dreams. Know that things are going to work out. Have faith in that. But in the meantime, have some enjoyment in life. So your person has transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. 
love conquers and transforms all things. So your person is going through a period of transformation, maybe an awakening, maybe they're waking up to what this connection is to them. And then they also have balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So your person is learning about, um, they're going through a transformation and they're also learning about balance in some way, learning how to balance different parts of their lives, learning um, that they have a say when it comes in relationships. That's what I feel like I want to say, that maybe your person has been in relationships in the past that maybe they felt like they didn't have a say when it came to um, relationships for them. And now they're learning that, um, that both partners have a say when it comes to their relationships. So what are you learning from this connection? Let's see what Leo is learning from this connection. What is Leo learning from this connection? What is Leo learning? <laughs> Here we go again. Adventure. Having fun. Learning how to be more free and open. Maybe the person that you're dealing with is more of a free spirit and you need to start to feel that way as well. So you need to learn to be more free and open um, when it comes to love and relationships. So you are learning about adventure and you're also learning about communication, being able to communicate the things that you want to communicate. Um, maybe you had a problem speaking your mind before. Maybe you have some things from childhood that may have made it that you weren't open and free to speak your mind. You're learning that with this, um, through this connection with this other person. What is this other person learning from Leo? And, and again, these, um, these, um, energies are interchangeable. So that could be something that your person is learning. So just take it as it resonates. What is the person on Leo's mind? learning. Wow. Okay. We're not going to take all those. <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay. Let's just go with that because your person, you're teaching your person a lot. The first card that came out immediately was individuality. individuality. So your person is learning how to be themselves, how to um, be independent um, to to be a person that you know they yeah again independent not having to depend on others not having to um, wait to see what others are gonna do before they make moves and such so this is what this person is learning how to be independent um, and be themselves they're also learning about what spiritual partnerships um, are. They may have had many partnerships in the past. They could have multiple partnerships now, but they are learning what that means, um, what you're teaching them, what it means to be in a spiritual partnership. Um, they haven't known anything about that before. Maybe they thought that they were in some significant partnerships, but now they're seeing that this partnership is much different and they feel it. And then we have effort. So your person is learning what it means to put an effort into something, into a relationship, um, putting effort into anything in life right now. You're teaching them about what it means to put in effort and get re rewards or reap the benefits of doing that. Maybe things were handed to your person a lot in the past. And so now they're learning um, what it means when they finally put in some effort into um relationships. So let's see what we have going on for Leo in relation to this person that's on their mind. Let's see some things flip here. Some of you are feeling um, stabbed in the back. Some of you are heartbroken. 
um, from this person. Maybe this person has done something to make you um, feel that way. Um, some of you are dealing with pain from from something that's happened in the past when it came to this person there was some type of deception um most likely some of you have decided to move on because this situation was some so painful so you decided to move on because the hurt was just too much to deal with and you know you were still trying to you know you were still worried about um whatever was happening um in this situation and so you set your boundary and you moved forward because there could have been um uh, third party energies person place or thing not necessarily another person but um that could be work it could be anything but um you felt like there was competition or you found out that there was competition that's that was probably the deception part that could be why you guys could be separated because um because there there was something here that just didn't pan out. You were upset about it. So you may have decided to move on. But at the end of the day, the thing is you still love this person a lot. You still think about this person a lot. Um, you, you want some stability and security with this person. You still want growth with this person. Um, but you are focusing on healing and self-work. Um, self worth worth and you're working on your shadow work um learning what it means to do things for yourself um some of you guys could be going out dating maybe on um dating sites you could be hooking up with other people as well um just trying to get out of of um feeling hurt and deceived from this other person and so maybe that is why it's telling you, you know, you need to have more fun. That was like your overall message was to have more fun um, at this time. You do want union and there is a union that is coming towards you um, sooner than later. Um, there is some type of union that is going to happen, but you need to learn how to let go um and start loving you again that's why i feel like some of you guys are doing learning how to love yourselves because you need to learn how to let go um some of you could have been dealing with a karmic relationship um but i do feel like whatever that it that is what you're doing that that cycle is ending ending so you're gonna go into a new um beginning because you are learning to to um to really heal and heal those old wounds once that happens then you will go ahead and you know start to make more friendships and converse but again about having fun um and you have to grow and transform um and that's what that's what the advice is for you to grow and transform from and learn from maybe the hurt that this other person could have caused you so things happen for a reason so you had this hurt and this potential deception because there was something for you to learn out of um this situation so um and there's something shocking that's going to happen this there's going to be a big transformation here that's going to happen which we figured as much because that's what you're working on. You're working on yourself. So your person, let's see what's going on with your person in relation to you, Leo, in this situation. What is going on with your person? Let's see if there's anything. See how maybe they feel about you. What what is what are the lessons? What is going on with your person? Your person is also healing as well, probably healing from something that was toxic in the past, some type of really um, toxic relationship history in the past. Um, they could be um, working on some addiction issues as well, but your person is healing just like you are. So maybe that's why things have um, happened the way that they happen. They got the same card as you, um, Leo's, which was the Grim, Grim Reaper. So it's saying that they're trying to grow and transform and maybe understanding that some of these other relationships are, you know, time, you know, are done. It's, it's really time for it to, to end because they want a new beginning. They want to move forward. They want to transform just like you. Um, you want to move forward and they're, they're going into a new phase in their life where they're gonna they're trying to learn to adapt and change um 
about things in their life. Maybe that individuality is what this transformation is all about. They're learning about things. Things are coming to life for them. So that is what's happening here. They're learning just like you. You guys are mirroring each other. You're learning about self, self-worth, self um, taking time to, time to heal, shadow work, um, appreciation for your for yourself. They are, you guys are getting the same type of card. They could have been um, the runner in this situation because they were listening to their ego. They're, they're, um, they're, this person could have a fear of intimacy or, you know, afraid to be in some in long-term um, relationships. That could be a thing for, for this person as well with the same thing, learning from lessons. You guys are very, very much triggering each other because you're getting the same exact cards. This person also learning about letting go, learning about triggers, could be dealing with a bunch of karmic relationships, but learning to let those things go. I feel like they were definitely dealing with someone who was a narcissist in the past. And they are learning how to remove themselves because just like you, they are heartbroken. And I think they are heartbroken um, and regretful for what they had what they had done to you. So they are they are um, grieving just as much as you are grieving um, this situation. So if that was something you were wondering about. They are, are very well grieving and they want the same thing. You guys are completely mirroring each other. They want stability and growth with you um, also. They want happiness and joy and they want to enjoy. Um, you guys want to enjoy their time with you and then playfulness. So maybe this person, like I said earlier, is more playful where you are more serious. Again, talking about playfulness. So you guys are really, really mirroring um, each other. Um, it's It's like amazing <laughs> to look at like all the cards everything i just said for you leo i'm saying for your person the person that you are thinking about both of you are healing both of you are learning um from the situation this person is ascending into a new phase they're getting prepared for a union you are healing at the same time so um you guys are are really, I mean, I feel like you're doing the work. So it's not like you're not doing the work. It's just maybe the situation was really painful. But you guys are are completely mirroring each other. So let's see what's going on for you. What what are some things we need to know for Leo? Leo, you could be dealing with someone who is younger um, than you with this younger woman. Um, you're with the, or it could be a man, but just someone who is, is younger than you. There is, you will be receiving some type of um, gift or um, you'll be giving. We saw this, this thing, a time to give rather than take. Um, so you could be giving um, some type of gift. Um, you feel something is lacking in your life at this time. So it could be love. It could be money. It could be goals. That's why I think it's saying for you to have um, faith in your dreams because this is an unsettled time. So again, planning ahead, your overall energy was to plan. Um, it could be some things that, ha that have to um, center around um, family matters. It's saying to use your, in uh, your intuition to make um, these changes and you may have a really good friendship with someone of the same sex. Maybe that's the person that you um, confide in. Um, but be careful because someone could be working against you behind your back. So maybe just be careful what's going on. But there is some happiness coming for, for you. Let's see what's going on for the person that is on your mind. Okay. 
So this person could be dealing with a woman. If you're a woman watching, could be dealing with you. But maybe this is someone um, um, in their family or just another another significant woman. Maybe a third party. Who knows? But they are dealing with some type of um, woman or, like I said, could be you. So don't necessarily take it as a third party. Um, there could be new opportunities coming for this person. So things are opening up for your person. This, this could be around work and achievement. Um, if they have, if you're dealing with someone with legal issues, those, those issues are going to, um, improve and, um, their sense shrewdness and resourcefulness, um, especially in business. So they're going to get resources that they need. So maybe they're working on trying to get a better job or something like that. That is going to work out for them. Um, this person could be extremely stubborn or, or you are to them, but they said someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So that could be why they're learning about individuality, but they have a deep love and affection and caring for you and this relationship. So let's see what's going on on your side. You could be dreaming about about this person. That was the first card that comes out. So this person could be um, projecting in your dreams. You guys are separ separated right now. With the, You want to stay together with this person. There's a lot of flirty energy between you and this person. Um, but you worry a, a lot about the situation. And um, it may cause you to have intimacy issues with other um, people. If you're trying to date and dealing with other people. Um, that could be someone that you became friends with, but you need to learn that, you know, maybe it's best for you to be friends first with this person, opposed to just jumping into a relationship. And that's what I think you could be learning about this because you keep trying to control the situation and being the chaser of this person. And it's leaving you heartbroken every time that you do that, because the person is not doing or acting the way that you want them to act. So that is what's, um, that is what's happening here. So let's go over to your person. What is what is going on with your person? I think I saw apology needed. So this person may need to give you some type of apology. If you haven't talked to them, it says you're going to get contact within the month. So just continue to be patient or this person has to be patient because they could be comparing options and they're feeling nervous when it when it comes to you. They don't know, you know, they don't they're afraid to come straight to you. They want to make it official, but they're very nervous. Whoever this person is, is a very nervous energy. Um, this person could be online dating, um, which is not really working out for them. Um, because whatever, whoever they're trying to connect with is not working and they're, they want to plan for the future. Um, because I feel like they know that you are who they want to be with and they want to, they want to plan for the future with you. Um, but there's some forgi forgiveness that is needed here. Um, and there could, you know, again, could have been third parties involved, but this is a divine union and you guys do need to talk and, um, and work try to work some things out so let's get some final messages before we close it out because this has gotten kind of long but we're gonna we're gonna go with it anyway let's get some final me messages you deserve love you are lovable so you and this person definitely deserve love and if you were wondering and you're feeling you know because things aren't working the way that you want them to work out know that you deserve love you are a lovable person you and this person are in separation right now uh, which is which is okay, but you have to trust in um, in the divine. Some of you feel like this is an unrequited love. I don't feel that here, um, because I feel like there is a lot of attraction and chemistry between you and this person. Because it's gonna evolve to a higher level. I just feel like there's some career things that could be working on. I think your person is worried about their career right now, so there are some things that have to be worked on there, but this situation could um, elevate to marriage. If it's third parties, maybe the person is married, but there is a lot of passion between you and this person, so you just need to give this situation um, a chance and work on this partnership. So I hope that that helps you, Leo. That is what I have for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and um, leave me a comment. Let me know um, what's going on. Let me know if this helps you in any type of way. Um, I will see you guys soon. Take care.